I have been improving these animals and I'm proud of them. I've been using AI and now I have uh, about 84 liters of milk in the morning and 40 liters in the afternoon. Did you know that if you want your cows to produce well, you need to start feeding them properly right from when they're cows. To get our farmers shipped up on their dairy cows, we have called in Frederick Ochido from CKL Africa. Good cows, Alfred. I'm happy. Also very happy about your cows. Thank you. I saw that you're breeding CRV cows, cows that are very healthy, cows that will live long, produce more, and also make money for you. Yes. So your focus now should be on the calves. Thank you. To make future cows that will be very productive in their future life. So that is what we will focus on today, to improve your herd. This is our passion. We really like it. Yeah. Even when we stay in the Amidist, we are always very happy. The only challenge we've seen is how you're feeding your calves. Your calves are walking out in the environment, and also the grasses they're eating is from the ground. I, I was thinking that's a good thing because they get to, you know, bask in the sun, they get to eat what they want freely. Isn't yeah. that a good thing? No. Once we leave our calves walking out in the environment, they interact with microorganisms like bacteria, yes. like fungi, yes. like uh, uh, viruses, and these basically cause diseases. We can see some fungal infections in the neck, yes. but we can also see diarrhea is very evident. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of worms that are also in the grasses that they start picking. And these will uh, pick away the protein and the energy that they are using to grow. And your calves will start diarrhea and losing weight and also changing their color coat. So once we recommend and take them back to the units, they are able now to get better diet. We keep them away from microorganisms and diseases and your calves are good to grow. Mm -hmm. Then also keep on deworming them after every month. Mm -hmm. Yes. Browning of the fur on a cow or calf is usually a sign of lack of minerals, while a rough coat shows that they need deworming. Calves need to stay in a pen for the first two and a half months of their life so you can care for them closely. In the pen, give them a two liter bottle of milk or trilk three times a day gradually start winning them at two months. This means that you give them less milk every day while adding pellets and grass to their diet. Next, what should they eat? Your two month old calves are going to be fed each of them six liters of milk replacer every day and also good grass for your calves. We're also going to feed them on calf pellets and we'll give them 1.5 kg of calf pellet. We'll mix that together with CKL Extra Legends. Mm. And this mineral is very important for your calves because it helps them in better digestion and also provide energy and strong bone development. We're also going now to add together with water. And if you give that kind of ration for your calves, they will grow very fast. They will be fed from the trough and this will avoid a lot of problems that come from the ground. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Ochido. Yes. You talked about a milk replacer. Yeah. W what is that? Yeah. And, and how does it work? A milk replacer is a powder formulated for calves. It acts like milk. It's also very nutritious because it has added vitamins and it will help your calves grow very fast. To make milk replacer, mix one liter of boiled hot water to 750 milliliters of cold water to create the right temperature. Add 22 tablespoons of trilk powder. Mix thoroughly and feed using a calf feeding bottle. Remember, give pellets at one and a half kilos per calf per day. Mix this with chopped, slightly dried napier and add three tablespoons of CKL Extra Legends per calf Per day. As we had uh, recommended six liters, in the morning you will do two liters of milk. Then you bring two liters of milk in the afternoon and also in the evening. You feed it using calf feeding bottles. Yes. Ah, okay. After weaning, you can put them together with other calves. At five months, your calf is considered a heifer. Manage them well so that they get to the right weight to be served. Mr. Ujido? Yes. How often do we normally deworm our calves? For the calves, once they start eating grass, we start deworming them every month, consecutively until the sixth month. That is uh, when we start doing three-month deworming for all our calves. 
to the worm. First, measure the weight of the calf using a weighing band. Divide the weight by two. This tells you the amount of nils and plus you should give the calf. I have not reached bed degree, and that is where I'm heading to. And I'm determined, by the way, with the help of members of my family, my sons, we are heading to that direction. 